How's it going everybody and welcome to the 2010 Red River Throwdown presented by Replay Sports Gear. I'm your host and TD Kevin Burdick and with me is Andrew Teague. What's up guys? Uh, Andrew was on the lead card for this. Uh, this was back in October of 2017 and we're really excited to bring you coverage. Um, bear with us a little bit. The video gets a little rough. It is our first attempt but uh, still great to be watching disc golf on a beautiful course, a beautiful day. On the card today, we've got J.D. Ramirez, Andrew Teague, Justin Morgan, Philip Morgan, and Austin Hannum. Um, Andrew and, and Justin are not related, by the way. <laughs> that was a big confusion day of. Um, but, side note, they are good friends now after this tournament. It's kind of cool. So, tell us about Hole 1, Andrew. Uh, hole 1 is a beast. It's um, one of the harder starting holes I've played at any course. It's a big dogleg right, 440 feet. Um, there's two routes. There's an up the gut route uh, that you have to get skinny and get something to, uh, to flex out right. Or there's a big over the top route which depends a little bit on the wind but you'll see some of these guys throw some, uh, some interesting shots. Yeah, for me the, the route is always over the top because this gap right here is so tight and JG just makes it look easy. Easy. You'll see a lot of small turnovers or sidearms through the gut here. Um, we actually missed Andrew's shot, but uh, you'll see where it landed. It was uh, memorable for sure. We'll call it a uh, first time being video jitters, we'll call it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know for a lot of these guys it's the first time being videoed, so um, we're excited to give them that opportunity. Justin hit that one leaning tree out there you want to try to get past. Phil's showing us that tomahawk line over the top. Just unleashing on one, that's a monster drive. Yeah, that's a great drive. And here's Austin Austin Hannum. He's one of the one of the best tomahawk thermer throwers I've ever seen. And although you can't see it finish, it's a decent shot. Yeah, really your goal is just to not be in the trees. If you're going over the top like that, you can't be in those trees. Um, oh, and here's here's my second <laughs> shot. My uh, my drive hit that tree. It's about 20 feet off of the uh, tee pad. <laughs> And though that may look okay, uh, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> this whole, man, treacherous. That's the word I use to describe it. If you're off the fairway at all, you're just scrambling to get back to give yourself a decent look. Justin put that a little wide left, but, oh, man, it looks like it's, I don't know, he probably found a decent spot. JD, after a perfect drive he could not have hit that gap any better he's still not finished yet though there's you know there's plenty of trees to be had through there and he misses all of them dang wow and that that was longer than it looked that was probably a, a 200 foot shot through the woods and you're a little low yeah mm -hmm. i'm a little frustrated <laughs> first hole man <laughs> hitting the first tree on the first hole is never a good sign Justin with the touch forehand. I believe he's throwing a mortar. I know he loves those mortars, man. Oh, a little bit of heat. That's okay. Caught by the bush there. And this is a pretty new course. It had not been in the ground for uh, six months when this tournament was played. Yeah, our kickoff event for this tournament was uh, July 1st, and I believe the Red River Throwdown was end of October. So um, I want to give a huge shout-out to the city of Sherman. Man, they... Uh, <laughs> I think it's funny. A lot of... Uh, a lot of cities have pride in their disc golf courses, but uh, Sherman and Denison are neighboring cities, and they actually are having a little competition for who has the best disc golf course, the cleanest, most well-kept disc golf course. So, huge shout-out for them. Austin with probably 25 feet. Oh, a little oh. wide. A little wide. Air ball. This is our second round of the day. Yeah, first round was at Munson Park in uh, Denison. It's a great, great course. JD, get used to seeing that. He... Makes it he, look easy. Yeah, he's a robot with the putts, man. Team Innova. Real easy putt. Been playing oh, a long time. We're, never mind. No, nah, I was going to just gloss over that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, man. Ooh, and like I said, I don't even think he could see the whole cage right there. I think he was looking at the, the number plate and maybe the, the top of the red. It's a great putt. Dude. Yeah. I think he, I'm pretty sure he was pumped when he made that. Yeah, Justin's going to clean up a four here, I believe. Good putt there, Justin. 
Yeah, and like I was saying before, this was our first time videoing, so there's a great chance we missed some strokes, especially on these difficult par fours. Um, so we'll have the scores for every hole at the end of uh, the clip right, right here. Looks like we got JD with the three. Great three there. It's an awesome way to yeah, start your round. Yeah, it's a hard three. I unfortunately took a seven. That's, that's, the, that's the way you want to start out your tournament. <laughs> <laughs> or at least the final round anyway. Yeah, well, especially when you're trailing, but what were you behind? Two strokes? Two strokes. Yeah, Shot no. one of my personal best rounds at Munson that morning, too. Hole two is kind of a, I don't know, it's a little intimidating because it's so short and it's so early. This course has a lot of par fours. You got a little sidearm look or a turnover, but this is definitely a must-get birdie. JD's showing us the turnover line here. Probably with a putter? Probably, I would guess. Man, that's awesome. Yeah. That It's hard to tell from the way the camera angle is, but that's a really, really sharp turn. Yeah, and you can see with Justin's shirt that the wind is blowing. Justin throwing the low skip line. Oh, wow, puts it long. Super easy to do on this hole. Yeah, the wind's going pretty good. Austin, sidearm, low skip line. I'm sure it'll be all right. Yeah, he puts it right up there, giving himself a good look. The danger on this hole is running that putt. You can see that hill behind the basket. It's not as deep as it may look, but it can give you some nasty rollaways. And it actually, it was deeper before they did some construction work. They're putting in a, a quad sports facility out there with a whole bunch of stuff, and they put a drain and kind of filled in our ditch a little bit. Yeah, so it was a little benefit of uh, some construction there. A little baby forehand that doesn't get as far as I need it to. <laughs> Phil, how far do you say that is? Um, 45. Close, yeah. 50 I was feet. Say 40. And, oh man, he, he stuck it. it. He stuck he it. it. Phil's got one of the most unorthodox putting styles, man, but it works. I know it's a it's a real spinny elevator. Andrew, how far were you there? Um, probably 35. 35. Something I probably should have made. It's tough, man, with that hill behind you. Let's see if Justin can convert. Ooh. Mm, just low. Just low. Austin for the two. Austin oh, likes that straddle putt you know, from really anywhere. JD, familiar image here. Yeah. No doubt. Just Center like to draw chains. It up. Oh, the comebacker. Oh, got it. <laughs> nice putt. So it looks like we got a couple twos from. Uh, Phil with the long putt and JD uh, and then the rest pars out um, <clears throat> on to hole three hole three <laughs> hole three is a weird one man I mean you've got this the basket's way left it looks easy it on, does on paper it looks easy but it, this is probably the hardest hyzer you will ever have to throw in your entire life I mean if you're a right-handed backhand player um, and then just to add to it the baskets on this little heel, hill here I, uh, I've experienced a few rollaways off that hill. Absolutely. My problem is I always throw past into those trees back there, and that's like the one thing you can't do. Yeah, you want to get it, you feel like you have to throw it hard to get it to get there, but then it has to travel so far to the left. So far left. I actually started taking, there's a small flex line uh, through the tops of those trees right there. Justin, I like this play on this hole. It'll, if you throw, throw it right, it will just hold over the whole way, and you can get more turn out of it than you will fade out of a backhand. That looked like Austin a pretty good drive. Like a great rip there. Yeah, that was a good angle Hard coming to out. see where it's going to land. Right there, there at the, the base of the hill. Yeah, he's looking at a putt for sure. And here we go, throwing it low. Not so th straight, wow. Not throwing it hyzer like I meant to. And then you're pretty much left with this upshot. Yep. Almost doesn't matter where your drive lands. That's the upshot you're going to have. Oh, a little long there. A little yeah. comeback putt you're going to have to make there. JD went long into the trees, which it just, it makes this shot harder than it needs to be. You don't, I mean, and as you can see, he leaves it a little short there. See if Justin can uh, make the definite bonus birdie. A mm, little wide. I'll have a comeback putt. Phil from probably about 35, 40. Mm, just Ooh. low. Easy par though. And Austin with the closest drive. 
see if we can see a birdie on this hole. Mm, just low again. Yeah, he's trying to keep it low out of the wind. This is one of the windiest greens on this course. And JD, JD, no doubt. That's what you're supposed to do. So it looks like we're going to have a couple comeback testers for pars. Austin's going to tap in his par there. Phil's going to do the same. See if these other guys can uh, keep pace. How far is this putt? Well, it's probably 28 feet. 28. Solid. Solid. Great that one putt. felt good. That one felt real good. That's a good one, man. Hole three. Confidence isn't isn't all there after two kind of shaky holes. Oh, Justin. A dirty spit out. And these baskets, I think, are kind of notorious for, for spitting better putts and, and catching the ones that, <laughs> that maybe it shouldn't. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll just leave it at that. So, mostly pars. That's what you're going to see on that hole right there. Maybe a bogey or two, but mostly pars. So, hole four. What do you throw here? Um, it depends on the day and how I'm feeling. I've thrown rollers down there, I've thrown over the top shots. Um, if you listen really closely when I throw, <laughs> you can hear tragedy. Um, he may have hit a dog. Yeah, one of our spotters holding his dog. Uh, I came over the top and... <laughs> JD, though, throwing one down JD there. JD just pures the gap. Yeah. I don't know what he's... Uh why he's confused there. It was pretty straight and pretty perfect. I think we, uh, someone yelled, go ahead, and then we <laughs> threw, uh, oh, we saw wow. people still on the fairway. Yeah, that got up into the wind. Phil is, uh, I mean, definitely going over the top. I think over the top is just easy, but he faded way left, which really is okay. Austin, Austin. showing us that power. Nah, I got a good move on that one. He just got to miss these trees, which is always the trick. Oh, wow. I mean, it's got to be somewhere in there. There, there it is. is. <laughs> yeah, he's got a nice he's little got jump putt layup. Probably about 70, 80 feet to the pin. Andrew's going to go over the top. I liked it out of my hand, and then... It just faded. Oh, Sam, look out. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Man. Sorry, Sam. Shout out to our spotters. Justin's going over the top, too. He's just got to clear those trees. He's got a lot of turnover on it. Yeah, he's going to get caught up in the trees, it looks like. That's really, if you're going over the top, all you got to do is make sure you stay above the trees. Otherwise, you're just going to be right where Justin is, having to scramble for that three. Yeah, you have to get pretty creative if yeah. you land early. So many small gaps. JD's making it look easy, yeah. of course. Nice Puts little... it right up there. That, that disc looks like it has quite a few signatures on it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin... Just gonna put it close, save the par. Oh, puts it a little long. I have a putt though. Yeah. Let's see, who's this? Austin. Austin really had a great drive. Yeah, just a little. Just gonna pitch it up there. Easy birdie. Oh, oh maybe. A little long. Behind this basket, there's you can see this little ditch here. Just uh, makes things that much more difficult. Oh, Not for Austin though. Wow. He likes Great those putt. uphill putts. I think we missed my upshot. It was nothing special. I put it right there. But good three. Good three for yeah. sure. Justin's gonna clean up the four. Oh, just low. A little, little low there. And once again, birdies for Justin or for JD. Phil looks like he missed his upshot too. But birdies all around. Justin with the lone bogey. Pretty much a good hole for everybody there. Um, hole four is you definitely want to birdie that hole. It's just too straightforward. Hole five, one of the best holes on the course if you ask me. You're gonna throw tight through this gap here into this open field. Um, baskets over there on the right you can see. The further you can get out of this gap the better but really the key is going to be that second shot. It's, the basket's nestled in this little group of trees here. You'll see a lot of side arms into it. You'll see a lot of backhands just trying to crash the green. JD's going to try to pure this gap here, stood right in front of his disc. <laughs> but uh, it looks like it's all right. Oh, yeah, yeah totally. it's out the gap. No doubt. Perfect. A anything out the gap, you're going to get a clean shot. It's just the length to that basket is a little deceiving. Oh, yeah. On the upshot, oh, Phil is going to find a gap there. Uh, the upshot is so deceiving on this hole. It's uh, It always is further than it looks. You'll see a lot of people come up short. 
And Austin just mashing on a sidearm. Yeah, that's a great throw. Holy man, he threw that so far. And it looks so easy. <laughs> Andrew, put a little turn on it. And that'll work. Out the gap. Man, everybody's clean on this hole. They're making it look a lot easier than it is. Justin's going to show us the sidearm, too. Oh, I don't see it. I think you got out. Yeah. Oh, nice. Out. Everybody, all five, out of the gap. That's our lead card right there. A little sidearm approach here. I need to work on that, those sidearm approaches. It's a great I, shot to have. I know. I find myself needing it a lot, and I'm just not, not confident enough in it to throw it. Oh, Phil's throwing this tomahawk. Okay, I was expecting a sidearm. Just crashing the trees there. Oh. And one of the worst rollers. Oh, legs. man. Yeah, he... Wow. If that would have came down underneath where he hit, he would have easily made that putt. JD's just going to throw probably a putter, maybe a mid-range, depending on the wind. So smooth. Yeah. Just a little hyzer. He's going to be short, though, just a little bit. I mean, definitely putting, but this green is just deceiving. Yeah. Andrew, what would you throw there? Uh, that was the MD4. MD4. Yeah. Shout out Simon Lazat. Right, the Crescent Falcon. I still I still threw it a little, a little soft. Man, that's so far. Great shot, Austin. Yeah. Making it look easy. That's how you do it. So we're going to have a couple putts here. Man, Phil rolled so far away. That flutter, flutter. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's looking good though. Cut yeah. that tree limb. JD, probably circles edge. Pretty close to it, yeah. Mm, just low, just low. Maybe the only putt we'll ever see JD miss. Justin for the three. Oh, oh there it is. Yep, that's what I mean. <laughs> Gave him that putt that he missed earlier, or that he should have made earlier. Ooh. Just split that gap. Oh, oh I man. did. I went around the left of that front tree. Dang. And it was a good effort. Just weak side. Yeah, I'm not a very good straddle putter, so stepping out to my right didn't feel very comfortable, so I opted for that and got the same result probably. Couple birdies there, couple pars. Austin making it look easy, Justin with the big putt. Uh, on to hole six. Test how far you can throw. Pretty much. <laughs> hole six is probably at the cusp of most open level players range. It's downhill, so 475 it doesn't actually play that far. Um, you'll see a lot of distance drivers you know, skipping in through this gap here. It's wide open until you get to these trees. This is definitely one of the easier eagle looks on the course. Austin putting a good move on one there. Oh, just denied by the tree. Yeah, you'll that would see that be tree. a great throw. The tree catches a lot of them. Justin, a little, little low. low but but wow, it's it smoking stays though. alive, it stays alive. Big skips, nice, down into the trees. Anything into those trees is perfect. It's exactly what you want or what you're wanting. JD. Ribbon. Man. Dead straight. Do you know what he threw? I don't. Yeah. Curious. Oh, it's the man. First, it's the first time I actually ever played with JD uh, or Austin. Nice. It was a lot of fun. JD and Austin are our 2,000 rated players on the, court, on the card. Um, Andrew takes pride in being unrated at this point. Yep, this is my this is my very first open level tournament, and put a nice flex on it. Just kind of never panned out. No, the wind I, probably held it over. Yeah, I think I was trying to be too cute with the wind, I and see. then then I was mad at it, so I threw an even worse shot. <laughs> uh, so, all these guys, I mean, this putt is probably sixty feet. Yeah, it's not as close as it looks, but uh, definitely something where you feel like you want to give it a run. Absolutely. And it's really easy to do what Austin did there and go just a little long. Justin's going to try to cash in the eagle. Oof. Oh, man. That spin putt, man. Yeah. It's perfect height. He got that tree. Probably would have gone a little longer. Oh, here we go. Andrew Can from I... that straddle again. Let's oh, go. Oh, very nice. Very nice. JD for the eagle. I think I was picking up the CTP flag there <laughs> for JD because he got that for sure and with the eagle. That's a great putt. That is, man. For an eagle, for a birdie, for whatever. That's just a great looking putt he has. Austin coming back to save the three. 
Oh, just low. Just low. Phil going to tap in a three as well. Very Ooh. nice. Very nice. It's, oh. it's blustery out there. Sometimes you're second guessing your putts a little bit and taking a, a couple extra seconds to to feel out what you want to do. Looking at the scores right now, JD's got a six stroke lead over who was that, Philip, I think. Um, anything can happen on this course, though, especially on this hole, hole seven. And that branch that we just flew under is actually no longer there. Yeah, the city took that down, which is probably better for the hole, but this is just a pure 400 foot tunnel shot. <laughs> you don't see this shot very often. With a slight hitch back to the right. Just a little bit. And it's downhill just enough to make it doable, but you can see this is where our cameraman. Um, is standing right in the middle of the fairway. JD's just gonna pure this oh. gap. Oh man, catches the tree on the right. Justin looking at whoa, little nose up there. Yeah, little nose up there. Oh. This hole, they call it a par three. Probably one of the more controversial pars on the hole on the course. Um, and distances. We can't seem to get accurate distances for that thing either. <laughs> I think 400 is about right. I really do. Um, I think this is uh, this is one of the shots that I used to, to to throw before that branch got taken down. Roller. A roller. Yeah. If I threw right it, down the gap. Very nice. A little slower, and it would have gone further. But I was. This hole, I think the key is just getting as far down the fairway as you can. Man, and I wish we could could have seen Austin's throw here. He found a line that I've never seen before. I've played this course so many times, and he threw over the top sidearm, just right, basically right over where JD is right now. It was really creative. JD's just going to try to put one down the fairway, get as far as he can, hopefully save a four. Looks like he's done pretty well with that there. Justin's probably going to just be doing the same. There's really, it takes a lot to attack the green. Yeah. Oh, man. Brutal. Um, but it takes a lot to attack the green when you're not in the fairway. Dang, double tree. So holes to showing teeth. Andrew, how far out was your drive there? Um, I think I'm probably 150, 200. Yeah. So even the drive that got the furthest out of the group that looked pretty decent still had a lot left to go. Justin, just going to put it right on the pole. Very nice. JD is just laying up. Smart shot. Very nice. Going to get out of there with a four. All right. Oh, wow. Long. You were a little long, huh? Yeah. I didn't notice that on the first shot. Oh, oh man. Catches just left side. Weak side. It, it feels good when you can get a three on this. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you'll see a handful of twos, but those are few and far between. Just impressive shots. I mean, just yeah. Kevin, I've seen you two it with a with a TL three right down I that have, gap. I have tooted a few times, but uh, no one on this card did. Looks like a bunch of fours and one five. So that's, again, that's what you're gonna see on that hole. Threes are threes are good scores. So. Three is generally a stroke on your card. Absolutely. If not Hole eight plays right up uh, seven's fairway, so you're just to the to the left is seven's fairway. You're going back up the hill, just out the woods, into this little clearing right here where you're looking to get a putt at the basket. Go off the tee, just throw it as far as you can and keep it in the middle. Yep. JD's doing. Oh, cut the tree there. Caught the tree. Just got past the Gandalf tree. That's what I call that tree. Phil. It's lining up uh, probably, if, I don't know, you'll see a lot of fairway drivers or distance drivers on this hole. Turned it over, caught the same tree JD did. It's easy to do because you're trying to throw it as far as you can up there, but but when you're trying to throw it so hard, the, the accuracy is, oh, snuck it past that left tree. Man, that's a great spot though. Yeah. That's really far. That's way down there. I think that's the same destroyer that I threw on... Um, on five up out of the gap. Nice. Austin's playing sidearm. Oh, just a little low. But yeah. you know what? He's going to be center cut, though. I mean, he's going to be in the fairway, and that's really all that matters. This hole plays probably just at... Oh, Justin. That's okay. Um, 
probably plays just over 450 because it is uphill. So it's really hard to get up to the pin in one shot. And anything off the tee past where Justin is, close to where these guys are, is very threeable. I mean, wow. Yeah, there's just, there's not a, a true gap out of the fairway. You just have to pick one of the holes you feel the most comfortable throwing through. Because um, the trees are kind of evenly spaced. You have a bunch of uh, medium holes, but nothing n nothing that makes you want to go for it specifically. So Austin on that shot, I remember, I don't know if you remember, he looked at our cameraman Mike and said, hey, I'm throwing it straight at you. Like, you should move. And uh, he scooted over two feet, and Austin threw it literally right where Mike had been standing. It was really impressive. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> oh, Phil, little little that nose up, up there. Yeah. So JD's looking to clean up a three, it looks like. No doubt. Man, we've been seeing that all day. Austin for the three. Phil cleaning up his uh, four, maybe? Yeah. Andrew with the good three. Justin with the four. So that's a... Uh, that hole's not nearly as treacherous as hole seven. That's about what you're gonna see. A couple birdies, a couple pars. If you walk away with a par on that hole, you're not feeling great about yourself. But, um, all right, going into hole nine. Hole nine's the last hole on our front nine coverage. This is probably one of my favorite holes on yeah, this course. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really fun hole to play. And it's, it's very eagle hole. Oh yeah, it's it's so downhill. You got this perfect little tunnel off the, off the tee. You just have to play over this little ditch and then get one up on the bank there. JD's putting a great move on that. It's moving so fast. You get around that little group uh, of trees. He, that's what he was telling it to. <laughs> nice. He's going to be probably circle's edge just down the hill. And Andrew a little too much want. Pulled it a little bit. And that's... that's oh, wow. Well, it came out through. almost. But that's trouble on the right side there. Yeah. Austin, this is the line that I choose. Up over the top, you swooping in, coming in on the basket. Ooh. Wow, way past the basket. <laughs> Holy wow. And if it could have stuck right where it landed. That's a park job. That's a park job. So Phil's gonna follow that up. Oh, just pulls it a little bit. Yeah. But really that's that's okay. That's you're gonna have a look up for a three. Justin put a good move that on that. Good, yeah. Oh, it's going to be a little too stable. Yeah. Needs to get lucky over there. Oh, it does, though. Yeah, that's He's not too kind bad. of yeah, open. So, Phil, yeah, he's going to have a little open look there. Just pitching it up right at our cameraman's feet. With a putt, that tree might be in his way. There I am in some bushes <laughs> with thorns like a foot long. What are you throwing? Uh, that's my compass, I think. Yeah? Yeah, just I getting just... getting it out? Oh, yeah. Not quite as far as you may have wanted. No, I threw it straight at the ground. Oh, Justin, roller. getting creative. A little Bonk. roller. Oh, and backstops on the tree. Yeah, that was great. Andrew for the three. Uh, if I remember right... Did I, you go through the trees? Yeah, I, I know. I think I went between them. Well, yeah, I think I went between them, and I felt like I was going to make it when nice. I stepped up well, to you hit it. the pan. I know. And JD with JD. What, what nice. best. Two eagles on the front nine. Very nice. So Phil is going to clean up the three here. Yeah, yeah. Right, good putt, good putt. Austin, can we get two eagles? Yes, yes we, we can. can Very nice. Very nice. A couple of eagles. Got the, Phil with the lone birdie. Andrew and Justin settling for the pars there. Got a little bit of scoring separation there. JD's. Up uh, seven on Austin after our front nine, but be sure to join us for the back nine. Huge shout out to Mike Brink and Black Kite, uh, Replay Sports Gear, Red River Disc Golf Association, Andrew for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, it was a fun time, y'all. If y'all haven't played these courses or this course specifically, you should definitely get out there and do it. Uh, one of the more challenging courses here in DFW. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you guys on the back nine.